Hello everyone, Xenozimmer here, and welcome back. Welcome to a new... I don't know why I said welcome back. Welcome to a new Let's Play. A Let's Play of a game I'm excited to show. Fire Emblem Free Houses. This has been in the works for a while. And this isn't the only game that's going to be on the channel while things are going on. In fact, by the time you guys see this, I will have already probably gone through half this game. I don't know if that's true, because I don't know when I will be posting this. And if you guys know this game, this game has four full stories and the DLC. Two of the routes will be considered different last plays. And two of them I will never do because I don't like them. I will do the side story for one of them, and for the other, I will recruit as many characters as I can. Finally, is how I'm going to do this game. This game. This first run will be done on a complete new game. I will not be doing New Game Plus. No. For the main story, I will be playing this game on hard. For the DLC, however, because of how annoying it is at times, I will be playing it on normal. This is less to do with how challenging it is, the DLC is, but more of how picky it is and how how do I put this? Particular. It is really early on. But I will not be playing in casual. Like a lot of Fire Emblem less players will be playing on classic. I originally what I had in plan for this was that for the majority of what's called the pre-time skip era of the game I was going to play on casual and then switch to classic but I also had to would have had to go through the game and I was like no I don't want to go through that again. So, yeah, we're going classic. Connect online. This game has voice acting in its cutscenes, so there'll be a lot of me shutting up.
Do you recall the Red Canyon? You'll die! <clears throat> die! Die! You took everything that I loved! Messing around. Oh my. What could have brought you here? Sleep. That's what brought me here. <sighs> I wonder how you got in here. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. Very rude indeed. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. And now we get to choose a character. We can either get male Balef or female Balef. I'll be real. I like female Balef a bit more. And before people ask, it's not because of her bust. It's actually because of her hair. I like... I like how it flows. But for this run, we'll be doing female. On the other playthrough, we'll be doing male. Hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? These two options are literally nothing. I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. We'll be choosing canonical name. By left. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? All right, so we're chasing the date by left birth. I usually like making it a uh, February. However, I think it'd be fitting. Make it this. It won't make sense if you. Well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Hmm. It all feels so familiar. I think it may be time for yet another nap. All right, Morgana. 
And yes, I can say that. Yes, I can say that. Because in English, these two, those two, share a voice actor. Now we truly begin the game. Hey, the game. time to wake up. <sighs> Were you having that dream again? Dream about a young girl. You've described her to me before. I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Of course. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir. Sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform... Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. And we get to our first part of gameplay. I will remove this file. It's my failed map maddening playthrough. I also got bored of it, so it was like, ugh. So now. Skirmish at dawn. Prologue. Ine inevitable encounter. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. Movement. Yeah, there's not much to it. Stay focused. Or... Let us. Oh, how do I do this? There we go. Let's talk about the main character that we are basically playing as Byleth. So, details mysterious crest. It might be some kind of crest, but it's unclear which one. We're part of the mercenary force. This is our level. This is our experience bar. This is how much spaces we can move. This is really important. Especially for those who play optimally. For those who are listening who play optimally, I won't be playing optimally. HP, this is our class. This is the type of unit we're are for infantry. We'll get to see the other types later. This is our attack power, this is our hit rate, this is our crit rate, this is our resilience against magic, this is our protection against physical attacks. If it's our attack speed, this is this game introduces showing the attack speed. This allows us to know if we can do if we can double, not dodge, double our enemies. Right now we can. This is our avoidance. This is our range. This is something that's not gonna be you're gonna be seeing only really for a while, only going to two or three. But later on you'll see it go to ridiculous. And these are our stats. This is important. But we'll wait to go to abilities. Multiplies this unit's 
adjacent units experienced by 1.2. We have Sword Prowess, Brilliant Prowess, and a 4A. 4A we can't really do much with, but we'll talk about that later. And we can see the other characters. We've got Rath Strike and Battalion. We don't know what Battalions are, so we won't go into that later. Byleth is honestly probably the hardest character to raise in anything but swords. So, sadly. How magic works in this game is that we have to learn it, and once we've learned it, we get set spell list, list for each character. Both such is pretty good with it, and here comes the part where I'm going to probably get some rage. We will eventually get a sword, because Smash spoiled this. We'll get a sword called the Sword of the Creator, that has 1-2 to two range, and is a really good weapon. We also will be getting a personal class. The personal class will allow us to use swords, magic, and boot, and gives us a boost of a little bit, a, a, a more efficiency in brawling. But we'll get that later. So, am I going to talk with others? No, I'm not. The main reason why is because there isn't really much point. But we can talk. Thank you. We are in your debt. It wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this. Please, lend us your strength. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. I will prevail. Give us everything. As you can probably tell, yeah, these two are not going to be the lords we follow. But we'll get to speaking about them later. You have a strange aura about you. You say you're a mercenary, so show me what you can do. Bows can attack from long range, although their hit rate is reduced as range increases. They're highly effective against flyers like Pegasus Knights. I'm Wyvern Riders. Ready and willing. I'm gonna speed it up. Weapon will break. When repeated use brings us your ability to zero. You can fight with a broken weapon, but your might and hit rate will be reduced. And enemies will make follow up attacks more easily. Be careful with your weapons, you cannot repair them mid battle. I actually know someone who played through the whole game without repairing any weapons and only using broken ones. I will say, it was entertaining. It's because of you guys that I'm not dead right now. I didn't expect to Oops. run into mercenaries like you in some remote village. The gods of fortune must be smiling on me. Funny. You fought well. We'll talk about bonds later, and we'll talk about battle phase. Now it's enemy's turn. We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. Terrain effects. Each type of terrain has different effects. So, we've got neutral terrain, and we've got defense terrain. That allows us 30% avoid on one defense. And if we were to go to... Oh, is there not none of her? I thought it was a little more of her type. Nope. Okay, so we can't talk about the other terrain. So we too. But if we can check. This is the enemy's range. So if we can go here, we can wait them out. Because we can't get in yet. Now if we hide here. Yes, good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. This game's talking about terrain types. We'll see the different types later. We'll end turns. Now 
Now let's show off a co combat, a combat art. This allows us. Oh! <laughs> this allows us to get more XE, and we got a bit more health. Underestimate an outsider. And the thief is down. That is that. when an ally is nearby and the enemy will be intimidated making them easier to hit yeah we'll get linked attacks which is something that's amazing but it does add up especially when you have three people building up uh, support which is what it was called in the original games. There you go. That's the golden deer for you. Damn. Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. Here comes the anime. And Geralt, our father, is coming in. We won't try and take out Costas. Of course, annoyingly, we will have to. Just deal with them not doing much. If Joe gets him, we're messed. Oh, we might be. Oh, we healed up. Not my first fight. If we can take a cost us. Use Wrath Strike, or we can just attack up here. We can't really take him out, which is annoying. Combat Arps. Oh, we're not gonna take him out. I'm gonna take him out. Let's pull him out. And we got our first level up. Oh, it's a nice boost. Strength. We got, no, we got untapped. In. We got some untapped genius. You with the blank stare! Out of my way! Oh, we might go down. Ah! Uh, because we didn't get a certain ability. I'll be seeing you back there. Actually, it's not going to take too long. I can just skip everything. Alright, I've also got this. The prologue is always the hardest part. Of any, <laughs> of any quote unquote hard game, because this game is not hard, even hard. Let's take care. I'll cut through. I will prevail. Stay focused. Uh, Predictable. Ready and yes, willing. I, know. I didn't expect. There we go. That's the golden deer for you. We'll advance. Actually. 
get her here. Let us move. I'm changing our strategy slightly. Yes. No, allow us to utilize this foliage. <laughs> Apparently not. Now we just have to hope Claude dodges. This is slightly better. It's Claude. I take back what I said. I double take back what I said. Because apparently Claude Attack. can't dodge for anything. Even though he really should be able to. It's your call. It's not luck, it's fate. Items. Careful. It was a good try. There we go. Damn. Why are there Is the vulnerary? We'll just have to. There we go. A bit more. Ready and willing. Combat arts. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you where you stand. We are our first. Life Level doesn't always go as planned. That's not bad, but I'm gonna have strength. There it goes, cost us. And we got our first permanent level up. Let's that is better. I'd rather have strength though. We received Iron Axe. Put it to the convoy. Trying to get me killed, you fool. <sighs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> well, then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis, but I'm also known as the Beginning. Hmm. Sothis. Yes, that 
is it? My name is Sophus, and I am also called the Beginning. But who once called me that? What are you talking about? I was not able to recall my name until just now. And just like that it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Yes. Chloe, that child just saved your life. And what does that make you? I'm less than a child. Correct. You understand. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. Thank you. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? What now? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. <sighs> How rude of you to drag me into this. Now what to do? Turn back the hands of time. <laughs> of course. I must turn back the hands of time. Yes. I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go! Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. Hey, did you just... The Knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Hey, the thieves are running away. Go after them. The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Uh... Why him? Stage complete. Eight turns. Oh, I'm surprised. I would not have thought Club would be the MVP. Inevitable encounter. My thank you so much. Captain Gerald, it is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mock Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? That's correct. Is that so? Well, physical differences aside, 
Your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? <sighs> What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? You haven't heard of the Knights of Saros? The most famous order of knights in all of Fodland. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? Of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers' Academy at Garagmok Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me? Naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way no. you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now, I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the Kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well... The Dressing Empire? Loyal to Eilidgard, Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Loyal to Dimitri, a Lesser Alliance! Lesser Alliance. <laughs> Is that right? Well, that's a win for the Alliance, so I suppose I'm obligated to be happy. This All is right, that's Chizard. enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. This doesn't... My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know... Each of the three is most unique. Now that I can talk, that doesn't actually decide your choice. You can change house. You can choose not to choose any of those houses, but go for one you've bonded with. Claude. His sm easy smile is striking, but the smile doesn't reach his eyes. She's a fine young woman. I feel as though she's always evaluating me. He seems quite sincere, but a sense of darkness lurking beneath. Yes, I thought the same. Oh, I am so 
sleepy once again. Oh, I may be sleeping. Part one, white clouds, great tree moon, three houses. The icy winds of the Agma mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodlan, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlan in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. The flow of time bring you here. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now. Uh... Her? You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. The Archbishop? As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Jeff. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder... Was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. 
Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? My name is... A fine name indeed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers' Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Ah, I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. I must work here? As a mercenary? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. Don't leave me. And watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Oh, don't leave it's me. you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman. A Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officers' Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. Not interested. Not interested. No. You're a songstress? So am I. Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middle Franc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm. Quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch. 
but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Sorry for so much cutscenes, but there is no great place to stop. But soon there will be a stopping point for this last for this last play for this episode. There will be a stopping point for the last play, but <laughs> not for a while. All right, took a while for it to. That won't happen much. Exploring, and then we got the first task from where, from where, from Rhea. But that will happen next time. I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen, <laughs> but that will happen next time. So. Next time, we will do Rhea's quest, talk to the students, find out about them, and then choose our house. This is Xenon and Zimmer, signing out. <laughs>